There's now a full-scale forest fire in my mouth. But Onique's not done yet. It's amazing from the beach. It doesn't look that steep. She's got another surprise for me, high up in the forest canopy. That is deep in there, Monique. I know. It's a good workout. Isn't it? Next challenge. This is a uh, fuchsia tree. And the best oh. thing about this tree, Go on. the berries. And they're usually way up high. So the best ones, they're bright purple and they're super sweet. Yeah. But they're just a bit of a pain to get. So, so we just shake the tree and it'll drop down? No, you're going to have to go up. Seriously? Yeah. You sure they'll take my weight, the branches? We'll soon find out. I'll wait here. That's very kind of you. <laughs> Honestly, you said come foraging, right? Yeah. I didn't say it would all be on the ground. Just a little bit further now. Oh, <laughs> Do you hear that? I heard that. <laughs> Go. It's like Tarzan up there. Can you see them? I can see them right in front of you. Right. Bloody hell, it's windy. So the bright purple ones, right? Bright purple, those are the ones we're after. If you toss them down... They look like tiny dates. Wow. How good are those? It's almost like a treetop dessert. I just think that they're one of the best ingredients that we have in this country. They're bloody tasty. Fuchsia berries. Fuchsia berries. Pretty hairy, scaling that tree, especially the wind. But another hidden gem. And what a delicious little berry. There's no seeds inside, so that's a nice thing. So it's just bursting with flavor. The pain in the ass was they're at the top of the tree, not the bottom. That was amazing in there. Fascinating flavors, contrast. No one's cultivating it and grown it in kilos. It's found wild. That's the beginning of the journey for me. Māoris have lived this way for centuries, yeah. uh, just living off the ocean and the land. Yeah. And I'm preparing a huge feast at the end of this week for really? the local tribe. Right. There's going to be a lot of elders. They are basically the keepers of the land. Wow. They understand this land better than any of us. Why don't you come along? So cook at the end of the week together for the tribe? Yes. Yeah, I'd love to. This is an enormous challenge for Gordon. A lot of these ingredients He's never tasted before, so it's a totally different ball game. A little bit nervous because I've never come across those berries and ferns and, and, and leaves, but I'm not too sure what to do with them yet. So that's the, that's the difficult part up here. With the feast just five days away, I need a crash course in Maori cuisine. <laughs> 